Okay, so off we go again. Um, today we are going to what is the biggest shopping mall. And we are on the hunt for bathing suits, which is interesting because um, everywhere we've been so far, including Zanzibar, it's been really hard to find bathing suits. And um, we somehow lost one along the way already. So we need to find it, and um, then we're going to get some food. <laughs> then we're going to get some much needed rest because tomorrow is a big day. We're going to take the plane from Dar es Salaam all the way to a place called Kambaya. You guys can see tomorrow what we do. I guess you can see tomorrow. But from there, I'll just explain really fast. Then we're going to stay one night. And then there's like a seven hour trek to go down to Nikita Bay, Malawi. And we're going to have to apparently take a bus, walk across the border, take another little bus, and then another bus, and then another bus to get to where we're going. And then there we're going to stay a whole week, and it's going to be beautiful. My worst nightmare is happening in Julia 
is puking and she's got a fever and she was up, not feeling good last night. So the good thing is, is you don't need to go see a doctor to get um, antibiotics. So Tyler went out this morning and got some antibiotics and I'm just waiting to see if it kind of maybe goes away a little bit or if I should give her the antibiotics just in case it's something viral. So, but we don't want to end up with a situation like we did a few years back. So, um, we're at the airport. We're on our way to Mabaya. Hopefully everything's going to be smooth. We're planning to stay one night there. Then we're taking a bus for about eight hours, probably when it's all said and done, we have to cross borders and stuff. So depending on how Julia's feeling, we may stay another night or we may continue on. So we'll see how it goes. We don't have a hotel yet either, so we have to enjoy our coffee and then book a hotel. Malawi, 
and instead we're doing the taxi ride, which is 127 kilometers away. It'll take us two and a half hours. Um, but then we're just there at the border town. We can get up early, cross by foot, and then take another bus um, down to where we're staying for the week. So our surprise destination. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Wait till you guys see it. How big is the city? Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was expensive here. This one, one, we just got one. this whole thing. How much? For 2000 Yay! All. All of it. Who wants a banana? You want banana. So we arrived in the little village and uh, we couldn't find our hotel. But thankfully we got another one. So that worked out really good. And, um, and we were all super hungry, so we found a corn on the top on the street, and then we, um, we went behind this little uh, curtain thing, and we're not sure if we're in someone's semi house or if it's an actual restaurant, but we asked them if they'll serve us food, and they were like, yeah, sure. So here we are eating. We're having rice, and yummy meat, and some kind of vegetable that we're not sure what it is, but it tastes really, really, really good. This behind us is the Malawi and Tanzania border, so you literally just walk across it and uh, that's what we're about to go do. This is the uh, Malawi border here. Yeah, we're just walking across the border. So I have XE here to kind of go buy that and I'm going to see if I can negotiate with him the rate. And like the money looks like this. And that's how they're washing the, the 
the pot that they're cooking the rice and stuff in. So we were like, okay. And then they ran out. They had no more. So we had to go find another place. So it took us forever. What we did find, though, we did find rice. We got plain rice. And then we found these little biscuits, which are absolutely delicious. So this will fill us up. But um, here, it's like a rice and bean and maybe chicken or fish diet. And, and that's it. So we've got bananas. And then fish. Fish, yeah, fish. And they have these little shiny fish that look like metals. And tiles. <laughs> well, you'll see if you guys go out. <laughs> we got a little delayed. And I don't even want to tell you the buses. But we're supposed to go on a bus tomorrow. And the buses are like... Um, they cram everybody in, so I don't know how you would even put your luggage in there. You have to take bags if your luggage won't fit unless they fit. It's not going to no, work. It's like, like a seven people seater and it is full of Crammed with people and then everyone's just sitting there waiting and once it gets full, then they go. So we may have to like find a taxi. Unless well, there's a shuttle just for private shuttles. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is saying like things to the girls. It's not very nice. What are they saying? They're like, can I have your daughter and like crazy stuff. Let me lend me, lend me your daughter. I'm like, why the granules of coffee didn't dissolve. And the reason why is because two of them are bugs. <laughs> They're not really coffee grains. Can you tell me what is um, for breakfast this morning? Show me. Ready? Here we go. It looks like good old American breakfast. What do you get? Bread, sausage, tomato fed, little onion, french fries, and an omelet. Yummy. And soup. And guess what I found right here? Da -na 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 -da -na. Peanut, butter. Peanut butter! That's the first time I see it. May I have jelly, please? And jelly? Is there jelly? Uh -huh. No, there's no jelly. Every serving of classic peanut butter Can you use my has bowl, seven Instagram? grams of nature protein. Classic peanut butter can be used as a gravy thickener spread on bread and as a flavoring agent on various Dishes like rice, porridge, and vegetables, etc. They put peanut butter on rice, vegetables, and they stir it into their gravy. Toast sounds good, but vegetables are okay. So, Chloe, how is your breakfast so far? Good. But here they use goat milk instead of cow milk. What does it taste like? Is it yummy? Mm hmm. What it's about you? Bad. Do you like it? It's okay. It's okay. Apparently, it's better for you anyway. What are we planning to do, Angelique? Take a taxi. A taxi? Are we going to negotiate a taxi rate? Yeah. For like. Because the buses, the bus. they normally wait till it's packed to the max, and then after they start driving, but it takes like sometimes five hours. But in a taxi, it takes two and a half because the bus it has to stop for all the people and stuff. I saw like there's the like for example there it's a apostolic church then you're gonna see the Pentecostal church then there's the Salvation Army so like there's all these organizations along this road. So here the right here is the Assemblies of God Church and it looks like there was I don't know if there's like a school orphanage but there was a bunch of kids out there last night. Let's see further down. <laughs> bananas and uh, just dry rice, dry beans. And then we found finally one place that was open after an hour of looking and uh, we ended up paying just the rice. So that's what we had for dinner. So you can buy everything and anything at all the little stands. And this is how they're 
that's how their stores work. There's no real, like there's a little supermarket, but it's not like a grocery store or anything that you would think of. So when you go buy stuff, you buy it here like that. And same with like where we were staying at the hotel. They literally brought the chicken through the hotel, and I think then they were, they were plucking it in the kitchen, making the food right there like that. So, um, just like living on a farm. <laughs> So I think it should be normal closer to about 18,000, right? 18,000? Yeah, I think that's the normal price, no? For all five? No, no, I'll tell you the truth. It's 4,700. 3.5. 3.5 or 4.5 It's 240 You guys go in there, I'll be right back Oh, we're just getting smart people to go to Mizuzu basically Yeah, we should be add you another people Yeah, yeah, yeah So it's a big new bus So if you're not going with that, we are input a bus it should be another people So what just happened is we went through another control and then they did the whole like almost like a safety check so they checked the wipers the yeah, horn sure. yeah, the sure. doors and the back wiper wasn't working so now yeah, they're getting sure. a fine of about five thousand mm -hmm. but what will happen when they come back no the, I, I think they will have the receipt it means the whole of this day they don't have to they will not be paid they will oh, not okay. be paying anything okay. they'll just be showing that that receipt. they paid yeah sure okay. they can travel to and back Nothing will happen. Okay. So long as it's within the stated hours. But tomorrow that's another fine. Tomorrow they have to get it fixed. <laughs> okay. Someone else is like a bucket. So I'm not sure what's in the water. They like they emptied some of it out. stopping to pick up more people and we got some fish along the way <laughs> and some yummy bananas and some yummy nuts and this is the funniest though the fish here we go this one see the mountains behind us though it's all luscious and green it's beautiful so we're getting there slowly but surely with many stops That was nice, they found us a taxi, so now we're taking a taxi to Nakata Bay.
भैया 